All right, everybody, how you doing today? Oh, yes, we got some interesting news. We're going to talk about two great minds talking about a solar electric vehicle. And so we're going to get into this baby. All right, welcome back everybody. It's good to have you here checking out my video and we're going to talk about something very interesting. We're going to talk about how Elon Musk, one of the richest men in the world, how he how he felt about solar vehicles and what its potential was. And we're also going to talk here about another person that's going to talk about solar vehicles. You probably know who I'm talking about. But anyway, let's check this video out and let's uh, get into this discussion. It's never going to get to a point where you can just have a car that's made out of solar panels that it could drive around. It, just, it could never be that efficient. Correct. So you do not have enough surface area. Hey, Joe. Big fan of your show. And I was so pleased to hear you talk about solar transportation today. But I want to show you how it is possible and why it can be done. Here at Aptera, we're doing it right now. We're charging this vehicle right now with the power of the sun. And it'll get about 40 miles per day, which is more than enough that most people use. Let me explain why. You see, the Aptera's got about three square meters of solar space on it. Now, that's not a lot for maybe an inefficient car that looks like this, but it's a lot for Aptera. With three square meters, we get about 750 watts max over a period of a day, about four kilowatt hours per day. So since we burn about 100 watt hours per mile, we actually get about 40 miles per day. So with an efficient shape like Aptera, 40 miles a day of solar charging is not only possible, it's the product that we're selling right now. All right, so here we got Elon Musk, one of the richest men in the world, philanthropist, and he's saying that solar powered vehicles cannot happen because the way the vehicles are designed, you just, you, it's just not feasible to do that. And then on the other hand, you got Steve Fambro. He's the one that's actually co-owner of Aptera Motors. He has drawn out an Aptera vehicle on the whiteboard and he shows how the air actually flows around the Aptera because it's shaped like a wing. So it's kind of like with the block shaped vehicle, when it's traveling through a high speed uh, through the air, it's building up high pressure up against the front end of the vehicle which uh, causes it to expend more energy to get through that high pressure zone. Whereas the Aptera doesn't need to spend that much energy. It's, it's uh, more uh, efficient than the regular vehicle. It's kind of like if you're traveling at 70 miles an hour and you stick your hand out the window with the palm facing the wind, then it takes more energy for you to keep your arm straight because the pressure that's building up in front of your hand. Whereas if you turned your hand sideways and have your palm facing towards the ground, then your hand is shaped like a wing and it's much easier for you to keep your arm out. It takes less energy for it to go through the wind because the wind is now traveling around your hand much easier. And that's exactly what Steve Fambro is talking about. The Aptera, the drag coefficient on it is 1.3. The drag coefficient on a Model 3 is 0.23. So it takes more energy to get the Model 3 to travel through the air than it does for the Aptera. And that's why with the Aptera and the solar panels that they put on board, you can get up to 40 miles of range just on the solar panels alone. 40 miles of range. That's significant. That's really big. And so with the Aptera, you could do a lot more with less money. For instance, the Model 3 long range version is $46,000 and you get up to 333 miles and you could travel from 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds. Uh, top speed 145 miles an hour. That's not bad. Of course you get two extra seats with that. With the Aptera, I can travel 101 miles an hour. I can get from 0 to 60 in six seconds, but I can travel 600 miles. 600 miles, that's almost twice the distance. And a bonus, I can get free 40 miles of range 
in my battery pack each day just from the solar panels. Tesla can't do that. And so that is such a big game changer. That is so awesome what Aptera is doing. And they're continuing to innovate their vehicle as they're getting ready to produce it. So that is very, very awesome. That's just mind blowing. Uh, not only that, but you also get over the air updates with Aptera vehicle. So it'll continue to become better and better over time as well. So that is just really something to think about that these people are really coming out with something that's really innovative and it's going to be effective for years and years to come. And it's not made out of steel. It's made out of carbon fiber. So that's another reason it won't rust. But this is uh, something that you have to think about if something that you or if Aptera really fits your need because it's only a two seater. But it has uh, plenty of cargo space. It has 32 cubic feet of cargo space that you can use. So um, I don't know. I think that it's really a no brainer. Tell me what you think. Give me your thoughts on this situation or how you feel about um, the debate that's going on between these two individuals. But now we're going to go to Aptera's website. Let's take a look at their website and see what's going on at their accelerator program and see what's happening there. It's been a while since I checked it out, but I know that the good things are happening and I'm just going to go ahead and see what's going on there. Uh, eventually, you know, this company is really going to take things by storm and Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. They are down to 105. And once they come out with their vehicle, this is really going to drop very fast. Yes, indeed. They've actually added um, 14 more investors from the last time I checked it out. And they are really going to be moving this vehicle. It's going to move fast. There's a lot of people that are asking questions about it. And there are so many people that really don't even know about Aptera yet. Uh, but if you have any questions, you can give me a comment down below. And if you use my link, you, it'll bring you to this page right here. My link is actually down below and you could design the Aptera you want. You can get like, you could get the 250 mile range version. You could get the 400 mile range version. You could get the thousand mile range version. And what you want to do is get the one with all the solar panels on the vehicle. Cause that's where, you know, Aptera really shines. Of course, it's the most efficient vehicle that'll ever be on the road. This thing is really going to take the world by surprise. And they are going to be shocked when they hear about what this vehicle can do. But once again, if you have any comments, you know, go ahead and put it down below. But anyway, if you're new here, hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe, and you'll catch all my Aptera videos that are coming out. And we're also going to keep you up to date as far as when this vehicle is going to hit the road. But their test vehicles are going to be coming out soon. So make sure you check all my videos out. All right, y'all take care. If you're new here, hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe. And all my patrons, you guys are awesome. Take care. I really appreciate you supporting my channel. And we will catch you in the next video. Y'all have a good one. And enjoy your day. Goodbye.
still pretending Truth or false, the shit never ending Hear me 